When you receive your brand new Sureline CNC mill, you get very excited. However, you can't get the CNC to work without proper G-code. This is my learning experience to get my Sureline to work for me. Hopefully this video will help you with your learning curve. Sureline suggests using Linux CNC as the driving software for their mill. Linux CNC runs only on Linux systems. The computer that comes with the Sureline mill is already pre-configured to Linux CNC. As a new user, you probably don't want to invest in paid driving software like Mach 3. If you're using Linux CNC like me, you might find out it's very tricky to generate G-code with CAD softwares. I used SolidWorks a lot. SolidCam had a hard time generating usable G-code for Linux CNC. It was suggested that the post processor did not work properly. After some research, I found Fusion from Autodesk. Fusion is cloud-based and very easy to use. The best part is that Fusion is free. Fusion is offering a free hobbyist version for people like you and me. The free version is not as sophisticated as the paid version, but it's good enough to run small projects. Here I will show you an example of a simple project. This project is to make a toy trailer for my son. I used Sherline to drill nail holes so that my six-year-old son could hammer the nails in. First I drew the design and saved it as a step file. Second, load the step file into Fusion. If the coordinates is different in Fusion, you can easily change the coordinates. Here's how I did it. Switch to manufacturer's mode where you can generate toolpath and eventually usable G-code. Take this product as an example. I need to set up the tool to do work. Here's how I did it. First click the setup button. This will set the zero point on the stock. I chose this point as zero point. You can pick any point as long as you set your X, Y, and Z zero on the Sherline mill to the same point. As for the stock, in this particular case, I set all the borders to zero. Once that's done, you can generate a tool path. Fusion offers multiple tools to do the job. Since I just needed to drill holes, I chose the drill tool. This is easier than 2D and 3D milling. Here is how I did it. Now let's have a look at the simulation.
If that looks good, then move ahead and generate the G-code. Choose the post processor Linux CNC. At this point, you can generate the code. As Sherline doesn't have a tool crib, you need to do some modifications. You need to uh, remove the tool from the G code. In addition to that, I always start the zero point in the program as Z10. If you don't do this, the tool will drag across the, the work to the point where it starts up. You also need to change the H tool compensation to zero. If you don't do this, it will do a tool compensation. And in Sherline, if you're just adding a tool bit, you really don't need to do that as long as you zeroed it with the tool you have. This drilling speed is actually done in Fusion. After all the modifications are done, save the G-code to a flash drive. Okay, so this is the main page for opening. You can click on each one of these. Down here you can turn on the box. It's the control box actually. If you have that on and you have everything plugged in, then you can come down here, you can pick either increment or continuous. If you do that, then if you're on the X, the X axis will move. Over here, you have the speed, you can change it. If you do increment, it will, it will, uh, it will do increments. 10. Over here, you can zero that. And you can go to Y, you can do the same thing. And you can do the Z, you can do the Z there. In order to uh, find your zero, you will move this to wherever you want it, which you can do by uh, going to either continuous or increment. And you can pick your zero spot, which you'll need to um, Start your program. So if we say you wanted to uh, drill a hole in the side of this, you would pick some spot that you wanted to uh, zero it at. The particular software for this one is uh, zero in the corner. Uh, there's multiple ways you can zero this. Um, one of the quick methods I use, if it's not, if accuracy is not needed, is I have just made a small pointer. If we put in a collet or the drill chuck, if you want to uh, zero this, there's numerous ways to do it. You can use an edge finder. Uh, if it's accuracy is not needed, you can simply uh, put in a pointer that I made on the lathe. You can find your X, your Y by um, either using increment or continuous. Once you find that spot, you can use the zero all to zero it. Now for the Z axis, you'll have to do that one separately when you put your tool in tool is a different uh, length than the uh, pointer. In this case, we'll put a drill bit in. We'll bring it down. Again, in this case, we'll just try to touch it. And now you'll zero that one. Now you have your off that now you have your zero point for, uh, for your program. Make sure you, you've got the part nice and tight in your vise. This vise is a cheap vise from Home Depot. This handle was a little longer and it kept hitting here, so I cut it off and I made a uh, extension for it. I also had to make new jaws for it because the, the jaws that were on it were um, not only uh, too small, but down in the uh, bottom here, you couldn't put parallels in here. That's, I guess, something for another day. To load a program, once you've got these zeroed, uh, one thing I tend to do is I will go to increment and I'll go up 10 on my Z. And then I'll come over here and open up the program. Nice. Side two. So once you load that into here, if you want, you can edit it. You can bring it up here for the editor. Um, this particular one was done in Fusion. Fusion will always put in a tool. So you have to get rid of this with parentheses and you have to get rid of this line too. The Sherline software will not recognize those two commands. Um, the other thing I've done is, um, it always starts at Z0 here. I always change this to a 10. Down here, it ends at Z0, which I change again to a 10. And I also put in the X0, Y0, so it goes right back to the 0 0.10 up as I started over here. So now from here, You've got everything set up. You can uh, get ready to run it. As long as everything is connected here. Um, oh yes, on an added point. Um, this speed here is F10. Um, I've chosen a really slow speed for this. Um, that's Part of that is in the setup, but um, in this particular case, I uh, modified it after the fact since this is a very small program. Um, in Fusion, you'll get to pick your tool speed and uh, you need to set that accordingly.
Thanks for watching. Please leave me a comment if you have questions. I will try to help as best I can. In the meantime, I am doing some modifications to the Sherlon Mill and making other products. I'll post them as I finish them. Thanks.